This is Katie Heron with Heronberg Plans, and we are going to set up my May Clean Mama cleaning routine page in my Plum Paper Planner. So, as I've mentioned before, I have um, the dispersed cleaning pages in my planner, which just means that they add this little um, checklist page of cleaning tasks for you to fill in at the end of each month. And I'm really glad that I did this at the beginning. I didn't know how I was going to fill it in. But then I came across the Clean Mama routine and it's perfect for setting it up that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get started. I'm just gonna be using just some rolled wa washi um, to cover up the lime green. Um, I'm gonna use a mild liner to make some checklists. Um, this cute little stickers I got as a freebie from Orange Umbrella Co. I thought um, I might throw those in. Um, they're little cats doing laundry. Um, and pretty much that's about it. I don't really think there's anything else that will go on this page. I'm definitely looking at some point to get some scripts for these pages. I know, um, I think the shop is Phoenix Plans makes the Clean Mama routine tasks or most of them. So I'm going to, um, fill those in as well. So the very first thing I'm going to do is lay down some washi. So I picked these three colors and I'm just going to do them kind of, um, Covering this up, I think I'm going to need to white out the lime green though first. So if you're new to the Clean Mama routine, I will show you um, what it looks like in just a second. Basically, um, I believe her name is Becky, came up with this Clean Mama routine where she's kind of got a whole like business out of it, um, where essentially um, it's a cleaning routine that allows you to um like if you stick with it obviously you'll clean your whole house throughout the week or months or whatever um she follows kind of a let me just see if i can describe the cleaning type it's a task oriented cleaning routine meaning um each day of the week you assign a certain task so mondays are for bathrooms tuesdays are for dusting and so on and um instead of it being um like some other cleaning routines are more zone oriented i think there's something called like the fly lady system and she's more zone oriented um i did look into that one as well before i started the clean mama it just was a little bit harder to find information on honestly people used it but didn't like fully explain it um but anyway that system is more about like dividing your house up into different zones and then you cleaning um, within those zones during the, um, like each week you assign a new zone. And so for me, the I think the Clean Mama routine has stuck so well because it helps me to have like a specific task to know that that is what I'm getting done that day um, rather than feeling like I have to do everything from the house in one particular day, if that makes any sense. It's also been helpful because um, my husband has been a lot more willing to help around the house because he feels like he knows what he needs to get done. Whereas before, he was definitely willing to do things around the house, but he wasn't sure what needed to get done or maybe the best way to get it done, all that kind of stuff. So it's been a really good system for us. We've been doing it since the very last week in January. We kind of test ran it then. And then I made my first Clean Mama page in February. And then the um, and also in March. My very first time to make a video for it wasn't until April. I just didn't have time to film it in March. Okay. So, just laying down some decorative washi. Um, the lime green's fine and all, but kind of nice to have some different colors. I've got to get better about getting washi specifically for these pages. Um, I just recently had kind of a sticker haul where I bought some stickers from several Etsy shops and it never once crossed my mind that I would need washi for this page. And so thankfully I do have washi, uh, like like, a, like rolled washi, like what I'm using. Um, but I have very few colors in this thick um, kind. I say thick. This is not a thick washi, but it's thicker compared to what I, um, the other kind I have. Um, 
It's a very, very thin one. And so, um, need to remember to order some for the monthly cleaning page in, um, June. I said, I got all this beautiful, beautiful, um, stickers and sheets and all that kind of stuff. And then I went to go film this video and I was like, well, I don't have anything new for that. So I'm having to just use what I got, which is always a good thing to do, right? I'm just switching the order. I did kind of reverse order on this side. So yeah, definitely gonna have to remember to buy some washi for this. I do have washi that I probably could have used. Um, if y'all saw my, my planner haul, y'all saw it was like the Orange Umbrella Co. kit. I did get the extra washi to go with that, but I haven't used that kit yet. And I don't want to use up the washi on this page if I want to end up using that for the weekly page. So I'm holding off on using that until after after I've done that weekly spread. Okay, and then I thought it would be fun to put like one of these small little cats covering up that icon since it's lime green and these cats kind of go with the colors a little bit better. I need to see though if I'm gonna have to, yeah, I need to white out the um, icon a little bit. It doesn't look like it's gonna show through the sticker paper, but it's definitely a little bit bigger than that cat is. Oh, isn't that so precious? Okay, let me put another one on this side. I probably could have said to use that bigger one, but I thought a small one would be cute. Okay, and I just realized that I neglected to get labels for these to say the days of the week and that they were like these are may whatever to whatever which i always end up forgetting to get those um i haven't quite gotten in the habit of pre-preparing those yet so let me double check and make sure see if i got any that i could use i think i've about used up these i do have this from the um i actually just filmed this um it was my um, May, the first week in May, um, my teacher appreciation spread. And so I could, but I don't have four. I need four. I have three black, I have three blue, and I've got three of this blue. But I need four. I don't know. I'll come back and, and figure that out in a second. All right. So what I would like to do is have something that marks that these are week one, week two, week three, week four. I believe there's only four weeks in May. Actually, let me go check make sure um yeah there's gonna be four weeks and i'll let those actually that one will still be part of this one i'll let that be a part of a june so four full weeks in may so week one week two week three week four and then this is where i will put the um monthly tasks okay so here's what i like to do if you're new to this um type of video I put my daily tasks in this column and my weekly tasks here. So what do I mean by that? Um, so the Clean Mama routine, she has a lot of free resources on her website. I did end up buying her system when it was on sale. It was only like, I think $9. It was pretty cheap. Um, but I just bought it so that I could use it for reference to everything. So it's a pretty thick workbook. It's got lots of pages in it, lots of resources that you can use. Um, the table of contents is even two pages. Um, some of these are free resources that you can get. Like I think this one, I think I remember seeing this one on her website as a freebie. But essentially the system is this. You have five daily tasks that you do every day. Doesn't matter. Monday, Saturday, Sunday, doesn't matter what day. You do these five tasks. Make your bed, wipe the counters, which includes doing the dishes in the kitchen because you can't wash the counters unless the dishes are clean. Um, I definitely would be one to try to cut the corners and be like, well, wipe the counters down, but the, the sink is still full of dishes. So it's, it's including all of that. Um, checking the floors, doing like a quick sweep or vacuum if needed. Um, 
says specifically don't spend longer than two minutes doing that. Like it's not a big deep clean, just a quick, quick vacuum or quick sweep. Tackle clutter, just kind of take some time, declutter things, put paper away. I basically use that as my like, if there's crud all over my counter, pick it up, put it where it goes um, so that I have a nice clean counter at the end of the day. And then um, picking up my kids' toys as well is another thing I do with that. And then doing the laundry. And that is doing a load of laundry from start to finish. Put it in the washer, put it in the dryer, fold it, put it away. Um, in fact, I need to go swap my laundry right now. I've got my son's clothes in the washing machine. And I haven't put them in the dryer yet because I was filming this video. So, anyway, you start with the daily five tasks. And then you move on to your weekly tasks once you have mastered those. Once they come easy to you. Then you start adding in your weekly tasks. And this is what they are. Monday's bathrooms. Tuesday, dusting. Wednesday, vacuum, Thursday, uh, mopping. Friday is just your day of grace to catch up on anything else or kind of get into some monthly cleaning tasks, which we'll talk about in a second. And then Saturday is to do basically your linens, your sheets and your towels. And I'm actually gonna be making some tweakingness to, tweakingness? I'm gonna tweak this a little bit this week, um, or at least for this month, because this wasn't fully working for us. But that's kind of where you get started. Once you've got the weekly tasks down, which for the most part, I'd say we do pretty good. Like I said, I'm going to tweak it this month because of just scheduling, being at school and doing stuff. These don't always work out on these days. But once you've got those mastered, that you're in the habit of doing that, then you throw in these rotating tasks. And the rotating tasks, um, like they sound, rotate. They um, are things that happen monthly or bi-monthly, or every third month, or every fourth, whatever, and they kind of rotate through, and then after you've gotten that down, then you can start on the monthly focus, which is also just something to get done in that month, but kind of more specific, like last month was the bathrooms, which I did not do that great at doing, but like I said, I'm still working on it. Okay, so daily tasks is what we're going to put down first, and these five I do do. I don't stray from them, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe, write those in, this is where I would love to have some stickers um, to say daily tasks and then just put down stickers for each of these. So I'm going to go ahead and write this stuff in and I will uh, fast forward y'all through this. I'm just going to write the daily tasks down, not any different than last week. And then I'll come back when I'm done. I got my daily task written in and then I just make a little checkbox with my mild liner. Um, 
and can check them off each day. Um, I did just realize I forgot one other thing. So let me write those in real quick. The days of the week for each of these check boxes. So I go ahead and I mark through laundry on Wednesdays because Wednesdays are the days that I give myself an out to not have to do laundry that day. Um, my husband and I both work with the youth at our church on Wednesday nights leading small groups. And so we have to be there at like six. And so there's not enough time for me to swap over clothes after I get home from work around four. Like I'll start the laundry. We don't always get it finished and then we don't come home until 7.30, 7.45. And so it's just, it's impossible to get it done on those days unless I just kind of wear myself out. So we give ourselves the out of not having to do laundry on Wednesdays. But other than that, I try my best to accomplish and get a little laundry done every single day. Okay, so that's my daily task. So now onto the weekly task, which I'll show you in her book. Um, so the weekly tasks, like I mentioned, are bathrooms, dusting, vacuuming, washing floors, catch-all, and sheets and towels. And this works pretty good for us. I actually do pretty good with having bathrooms on Monday because I've found if I don't have time to do them on Monday and I tell myself, oh, I'll just do it on Friday, I have zero motivation to do anything by the end of the week. But Monday, I still have pretty good motivation, so I can knock those out pretty early. The thing that I'm going to swap is actually dusting and vacuuming. I'm going to swap them on days, which I know doesn't logically make too much sense because it would you would think okay well I'm gonna dust everything onto the floor and then I'll come back and vacuum it and then I'll come back and mop it but what I've found is that vacuuming is a very long task for me it just feels like it takes a while and I'm not likely to do that when I come home from church on Wednesdays but dusting doesn't take that long I can usually knock that out in probably 10 minutes tops so I think I'll be more motivated to still do this on Wednesdays if I swap vacuuming and dusting. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, the rest of it, I'm keeping the same. So for weekly tasks, I'll kind of talk y'all through this first one. So for weekly tasks on Mondays, we're going to do bathrooms still. And if you think, well, there's no way I could clean bathrooms after work on Monday, look into her routine. I think you can see like her house, you clean the bathroom for her. There's people that have made YouTube videos. She's got stuff on her website. Look into it. There, it's the method she has for um, cleaning bathrooms does go really, really quick. And so I really do enjoy doing that on Mondays. As strange as that sounds to say, I enjoy doing bathrooms. On Tuesday, we're going to swap with Wednesday. So we're going to make Tuesdays our vacuuming day. Wednesday, we will dust. And Thursday, we will mop. And I think this will go better because a lot of times what's been happening is I'll dust on Tuesdays and then Wednesdays, I won't have time to vacuum. And so if I didn't vacuum Wednesday, then I'm like, well, I can't mop Thursday because the floors are still dirty from not being vacuumed and then none of it ever gets done. So that's what we're going to try out and see how that works. At least for May. After May, I won't be um, teaching anymore for the summer. And so we might can go back to the other way for then. We'll just see. Friday is a catch-all day, which generally doesn't mean much um, because I just, like I said, I lack very much motivation. Uh, Becky from The Clean Mama does suggest using that day to meal plan for the next week, which if I remember, I try to do that too because you kind of just don't have as much to do that day. Um, Saturday is to wash the sheets and having that on this list really does help me um, remember to actually swap out our sheets. And then Sunday is kind of your day of rest. You only do the daily tasks that day. You only do these five things. You don't have to do any extra tasks. And so as throughout the week, when I get these done, even if they don't get done on that day of the week, I just check them off over here. So like if I had to use my catch all day on Friday to dust, then I would still mark it off over here. And so that's been working pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in the rest of these weekly tasks and I'll meet y'all back on the next page when I get ready to do my um, rotating and monthly focus.
also I just realized how hard this is going to be on me swapping them up because like I said I've been doing this since the end of January and dusting has always been on Tuesday and vacuuming has always been on Wednesday and when I flipped the page and I wasn't looking at the ones I'd already written I swapped them so that's why there's a little bit of white out um on Tuesday because I got them backwards Anyway, we'll work through it and see if we can make it work. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put my rotating in my monthly focus task down here. Uh, so, rotating tasks are, um, like I said, there's something that, um, once you get comfortable with the daily and weekly, you add these in. And this is kind of the, the default checklist that she has. She also has one with those same things spaced out the same way, but without the headers. So, if you wanted to you know, start here in August or something. And then I think she also has a blank one that you could kind of fill in your own. Um, so I just stick with the default for now. I haven't gotten into this enough to change it up. So we're gonna go to May and May's tasks for the rotating task are to vacuum your baseboards, which I am not the best at doing. Um, spot clean the furniture, again, not the best at doing. Um, the main bedroom light fixtures, I'm guessing that would be the, yeah, that would be like your master bedroom which that does need to be done. Um, she kind of swaps up the light fixtures throughout. Wash rugs, um, I do that pretty good. Polish wood furniture, wipe down appliances, clean window treatments. That has not been on here. I don't look forward to that because we have blinds throughout the whole house and I hate cleaning blinds and spot clean walls. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight tasks. Sorry if that bumped the camera. One, two, three, four. Perfect, I got enough space to not have to bump right up to it. So I'm gonna write rota rotating tasks here. And then I'll skip a line in one, two, three. Yeah, perfectly. Um, and I'm gonna write these in. rotating tasks and then as I get them done I'll just put a little check mark over here again these are just meant to kind of keep you um getting those things done um throughout the month as they kind of need to be done um and it does help me to kind of think about this stuff because I wouldn't think to clean my light fixture in my bedroom if it didn't tell me to okay so now we're ready for the monthly focus and like I said I'm really still on this phase of the clean mama routine like, I um, feel very confident in my daily task. I feel pretty confident in my weekly task. I'm still working on getting these down. And so, I know that about myself. I'm going to go ahead and write the monthly focus in. So, that if I get the chance to get some of them done, I can. But I just know that this is the stage that I'm in. And this is what I really need to be focusing on doing better at. And these, I can just fill in later. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to the monthly focus. Um... And this is very zone oriented. So they're usually um, specific zones that you're looking at. So like I said, April was bathrooms. So May is the garage slash basement. We don't have a basement, but we do have a garage. Um, so the things to do, I'm not sure y'all can see this, um, declutter, clear surfaces and lose, loose anything. You don't, is it loose or loose? I feel kind of dumb. Um, anyway, anything you don't love or use. So just declutter. Thankfully, we just recently decluttered our um, garage closet. So that shouldn't be a big deal. There's a few things that need to be decluttered though. So I'll still probably write it on there. Clean. Dust and or clean all surfaces. Definitely need to do this. We have um, a deep freeze and a fridge in our garage and they are gross. Um, a sweeper vacuum. Clean the garage floor. I think my husband did that recently, but it probably could stand to be done again. Organize, put systems in place that will get your household through the summer. This we have done. Um, I feel pretty confident in the system that we had in our um, garage closet. Cause like I said, we did that a few 
probably a month or two ago. Wash vehicles, wash or take to be washed. That's not a bad thing to do. Vacuum the floors, thoroughly vacuum and clean vehicle floors. Ooh, I've got too many crushed up goldfish and Cheerios in my car. That definitely needs to, needs to happen. Um, clean most touched areas, wipe handles, doorknobs, switches. That's funny. That usually is one of the rotating tasks and that it was not this time. Yeah, wipe switches and phones is usually one, but it wasn't. Oh, interesting. Um, and then deep clean wash vehicle windows, clean dashboard, empty trunk, etc. Whew, that's a very, um, definitely all things that I need to do. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. I got eight spots to write those in. So I'm going to put monthly focus. Almost spelled monthly wrong. Monthly focus and put garage. I really should make that also include our storage building, but um, I don't want to. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? I really don't. Our our um, storage building is bad, very bad. It needs a, an overhaul and I just haven't had the energy to do it. Okay, so like always, I just write the um, headers from each of these like the big bold headers, and then I come back and reference here to see what they specifically mean, because I don't have enough space to write all of those. So, I'll only write these in. Hopefully we can get to those this month because like I said, they really do need to happen. Um, however, our month of May is so busy. Um, I made did my May monthly. Um, I, it's already been up on the channel for a week or so now, but I just filmed it yesterday and noticed that every single weekend has something on it, which means I don't know when any of this stuff's going to happen, but maybe we have to be a little bit more intentional throughout the week to get that done. One nice thing is these are all outdoor focused, which is typically my husband's jurisdiction when it comes to cleaning. And so, Kyle, if you're watching this, here's your to-do list for the week on your days off. Wink, wink. Love you, babe. <laughs> um, okay, so that's um, that covers the clean mama routine. And then I usually have this extra box here that only really gets used if um, there's five weeks in a month because then I have to extend this down to here and then I have to put these here. Or um, what I did in April, which worked pretty good, was to put this to be like outdoor tasks. I know that this is outdoors as well, but it's just garage focused. And so just anything that needs to happen outside. Um, I know, well, I'll, I'll write this stuff down as I'm saying them. Um, so I'm just going to say outside. And this really only is going to stick through like the summer months having outside tasks. So some stuff that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I'm just gonna write flower beds. I don't really know what extent that's going to be. Um, they definitely need to be weeded out. It would be nice to plant some new stuff in them, but definitely at the bare minimum, like weeded out and just kind of cleaned up and nice. Um, the patio just needs a good sweeping and um, cleaning, especially now that the pollen's all gone. It's still a little bit on the patio. Um, I'm going to leave that at that though. Um, I'll let my husband kind of fill in some other things if needed. All right. So that is my May Clean Mama page um, set up. And so I really like how it turned out. It's a very functional page for me. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy or decorative. Um, definitely just a functional page. So hopefully you enjoyed getting to see this page set up. If you've never tried the Clean Mama routine, I would encourage you to try it, even if you just start with the Daily Five. Um, I've heard so many people, not just um, her, but so many people have talked about implementing these kind of tasks to help you um, overcome the clutter in your life. Um, and so I really have been gotten really focused into that. I've read, um, well, I didn't read it. I listened to an audiobook by um, Dana K. White the other day that was about um, it's called Decluttering at the Speed of Life. I loved it as an audiobook because she reads it. And so 
it was a very, um, very good listen. Um, but she talks about implementing tasks like this. She doesn't follow the clean mama routine. She's got her own routine, but implementing tasks like that really helped her to notice the things that she had in surplus in her life because if she was doing the dishes every day, she realized she didn't need as many dishes as she had. So anyway, I would highly recommend that book if you've never checked it out. Um, and so that's kind of the journey that I'm on and I've really enjoyed having this routine to help set me up for that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below. Um, let me know what you think of the clean mama routine. Have you ever tried it before? Um, if you don't follow the clean mama routine, what's your cleaning style? What do you like to do? Um, I definitely am super into cleaning. Um, I used, I like one of the big things I started following on YouTube was like the cleaning channels and everybody like just cleaning their house. And so, um, love to have a conversation with y'all down below and kind of what your cleaning tips and strategies are. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, I would love it if you would, um, we do all kinds of things in my Palm Paper Planner right now. Just setting up all my different pages and weekly spreads. And so I'd love to have you stick around. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave you with that. And um, I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.